So before when we left off, we were able to load out some scores from our um, our database and show them inside Unity. So what we're going to do now is to make sure that we can insert some scores in our game. So we are going to create a new function called private void, and we should simply just call it insert score. So when we insert a score, we need to provide two things. We need to provide a name and we need to provide a new score. So string name as a parameter and an integer as a new score here. So now we have the structure for this, um, this uh, function here. The next thing we have to do is to basically do some of the same things we did down here where we um, open the connection and everything. So we can actually take this from get scores and paste it up here in insert scores because then we don't have to write the same thing two times. Um, first of all, we have to open the connection. We will have to create a command like this, um, but the command needs to look a little different. We need to insert something. So this one shouldn't be a select statement and we will also not need to read anything here. So we can actually delete the reader part here for now. Okay, so inserting something. If we go back to our SQLite manager here, um, we had some insert here where we said insert into high scores and we gave the name and the score and the values were Joe and 100. So let's just simply try to copy this and go to our script here and replace the string here with these things we just put here. Okay. Um, the problem here is that we will need to um, switch Joe out with the name and we will need to switch 100 out with the score up here. So to do that, we will have to use something called string.format. So we are going to write string.format and put all this inside this string.format here. And why are we using string.format? Well, string.format is a way of formatting the string, duh. Um, but the thing is that you can actually put in some um, indexes here so that we can just provide some variables that will replace these indexes here. So basically we can do like this, say um, zero, we can write zero like this here, and we can write one over here. There we go. So we will have to replace the zero with the name and we will have to replace, replace uh, one with the score. Um, and we can do that by making a comma here and you can see that's the first argument here and that's going to be the name. And then we're going to provide the score or new score. That's what we call it. So when we call insert score with a name and the new score, well then it's going to call SQL query, string format, insert into high scores, name, and score. Um, and the values are going to be replaced with name and new score. I'm actually not sure if we need to provide um, these around or, or, or these around the values here. So we can try without first and if it doesn't work then it's because we need to provide um, these around them. But let, let's give it a try. Um, we can actually just call this function because insert into high scores. Yeah, it, it looks pretty okay right now. So let's let's give it a try. In our start function, we are going to say insert score and we want to insert um, Kenneth with uh, 10 points. There we go. Let's try to save this and see if we get an error. It's not what I want to open. I want to open this one. Doesn't look like we got an error, but it doesn't look like did I even remember to save? One sec. Something called insert score. Yeah, okay. Okay, so of course I forgot to execute the command um, because we need to handle this a little differently when we are inserting something. I forgot that. Because now we're just setting the command text and we're not executing anything. So the command text is fine. Then we need to say db. Um, 
that's called cmd dot execute scala so we are going to execute the scala um, when we are executing something into the database for example inserting something into the database um, right here we are executing the reader uh, somewhere there we are executing the reader and that's not what we're doing up here and then we simply when we execute that we are simply gonna say db connection dot close sorry for the mix up I hope it's not too confusing so let's try to save and see if we get an error now so there is an SQLite error as you can see here no such column can it okay so let's try to go in here I keep opening the wrong stuff and try to put these around let's try with we need to make these uh, backslash before we can do them because if, if we don't make those backslash before you'll see that it, it thinks that uh, the string stops so to make this go away we have to make a backslash like this the same here we have to make one here and one here and then make these so it's an escape character Okay, so let's try one more time. Let's clear this one. Oh, I cleared too fast. Let's see. There we go. Um, and as you can see here, we get Joe and Kenneth. Um, yeah, I don't even know why I did it twice. Let's just try one more time. Yeah, okay, that makes sense why it keeps doing it, because I keep inserting it. <laughs> Every time I run the game, it inserts my name and the score one more time. So now we have Joe and three candidates in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in this uh, database. If I select, click all from um, high schools, then you see we have Joe and we have three of, uh, of me here. Um, and the reason for that is because we are executing this line of code every time we run the game. So that makes sense. So let's just outcome it that. So now we know that we can actually insert something to our high score. And this is going to be called, when your game is over, you will have to call this function here with the name of the player and the score, of course. So let's save this. And yeah, I guess I'm going in this video here. And in the next video, we are going to have a look at how we can uh, delete something, I think.